Hi, chat. Hello. Hello, chat. I can't believe I did the going live tweet and I forgot to put the link. Oh, God. I can't believe I did that. That's so embarrassing. Hi. Hello. Let me switch. Hold on. Bop, bop. <gasps> Hi, chat. Playing more of a game about a man named Stanley. We're playing more of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe because I feel like I missed a lot. It's put me back on this screen. If if it resets, I might be a little mad. Actually, I don't know if that's what this means or not. What time is it for me? It's 4 p.m. Oh dear God. Uh, 4:04. I am gonna turn off the music though because there's a lot of talking in this game. If you don't know what this game is, you'll see in a minute. There's a lot of talking and a lot of noise. I'm about to be multitasking the whole stream. Oh, good luck. Good <laughs> Excuse me? This didn't happen last time. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you've been up the game. <laughs> a lot of people don't take that stuff seriously. They just leave it at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. Oh, no problem. That's how I know you care about this experience. You're paying attention. Uh, I don't even have any correct way of knowing if the time you're setting is correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead. Pick whichever time you want. Even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. Never read AUs on Twitter, because I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you get back to the video game now. I'm kind of tempted to just reboot it, just to see what it does, but I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll do that later in the stream. Whoa! Whoa! I'm gonna turn it down just a tiny bit. Spooky! Whoa! What's even going on? I don't know. That's the thing about this game. I don't know. <laughs> Never know. Begin the game! This is the story of a man named Stanley. Mm -hmm. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Yes. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Mm -hmm. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul wrecking, Stanley relished every moment of the orders he made, as though he had been made exemplary for this job. And Stanley was happy. Hooray! Okay. And then one day, something very peculiar oh. happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. When he realized that not one my single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh no. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, <clears throat> or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This <gasps> is there a new door open? Isolation. Wait, did I see that Something right? That door is not there, is it? Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Welcome back! I got an achievement. Welcome back. Quit the game and start again. Hooray! Okay. We are back here. I thought All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Also, I want to say, if you hear a lawnmower in the back, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I stream. It's like, hmm, perfect time to mow the lawn. Okay. Fuck it! Wait a second. Oh, wait, this door. How do I... I can get in there somehow. 
Is that door normally open? I don't think it's... This is here again. I'm not gonna take the bucket this time. I can't open that door or this door. Okay. Basically, for anyone who wasn't here last stream, or the first stream I did of the game, uh, which was a long time ago, this game goes over, it goes over and over and over. Things change. There's so many endings. I don't know what, I don't know what half of them are. Why does this place look different to me? Well, it is different. That's why I'm... This is the Ultra Deluxe version, by the way. Um, it's different from the one I played the very first time I played it. Uh, I got the Ultra Deluxe version, which adds a lot more. Oh, geez. Also, I want to check something real quick. I meant to bring this up at the beginning, but I got distracted already. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, on the, uh, the VOD, so if you guys don't know, I upload, um, people who don't know, I upload all my VODs on YouTube, on the VODs channel, I'm pretty sure you can do exclamation point VODs and it'll come up in chat, but I don't know for sure, I might have taken that down, but, people just came out of nowhere, <laughs> For the Stanley Parable? Like, before, the first one was my most popular VOD, and now the last one is, and it's just like... Where did almost 200 people come from? <laughs> it's just me screaming at the narrator, and I don't know who where you guys came from, but thank you! People who watch the VODs, it does mean a lot, and... I wanted to point out the VODs because I'll, uh, I don't talk about it very much, but it's a place you can... Uh, if you miss stream, because I don't keep my VODs on Twitch anymore. But yeah. Just pointing that out. I don't know why. I felt the need to say thank you. Sure. Doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm actually going to go to the one on the left, because last time we were looking for collectibles, and I'm missing one. So I need to see where the last one is. Okay. A large room, lots, lots of boxes. Lots of boxes. See, we're we got all these. We're missing one. We need to find the collectibles. They keep saying, like, there isn't a point to it, which makes me think there is a point to it. So I am... I need to find this. A lot of boxes. Where are a lot of boxes? Okay. Red room. Also, uh, what's this? Narrator, uh, what, what, what was this written with? That, that's a little concerning, narrator. The broom closet? No, there's no boxes. Stanley in stepped here. into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No. No. <laughs> but what if I don't want to? What if I don't want to, narrator? There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Yep. No reason to still be here. Well, maybe there is. Maybe, maybe there is now. I don't know. You never know. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Really? He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. <laughs> that is the most literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. That is the most random chat message I've seen. <laughs> the broom closet. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing. Why? Because I, I want to. Some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. No. No, I don't want to give you an explanation. Do you think about that, narrator? You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? I hate the humming but of I that light bulb. Oh my god. Walked past the broom closet. At least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story What? Maybe it does! I never would have thought to mention it. Can I like, turn off this light bulb, please? The, the, I hate the humming. This is somehow 
its own branching path. Yeah. Maybe when you Maybe. talk about this with your friends, they'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite." I hope your friends find this concerning. Ah. <laughs> uh. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably what? got the job because what? of Stanley's Get down here, narrator. Stupid he is. That all with drug money. What? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Are you serious? Get down here, narrator. Fight, fight. Go out. Go on. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. Get in here. You're dead. Oh. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the freeway. Oh. Well, in a situation like this, what did I do in your friends to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Oh. Hello. Anyone who happens to be nearby. Uh, I locked myself in the broom closet, and the narrator is making fun of me. Cuffless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area <laughs> and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. How long were we in here last time? I don't know, but I'm tempted to just stay in here for as long as I can to see if it does it. I don't think it does anything else, but I love that so much I had to do it again. Ah, second player. Second, second player? I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came Wait, to wait. You <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Mm -hmm. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Okay. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Does it do anything else a third time? Third time's charm. No, okay. Okay. Coming to a staircase, are there Stanley boxes down here? To his boss's office. Oh, no, that's not the ending I want. No, we already did that ending yesterday and it drove me nuts. <laughs> okay, I don't know where a lot of boxes are. That's where the last collectible is. I don't know where a lot of boxes are. Uh, how do I get back there? Is there anything? Okay, there is nothing of importance, I don't think, here. Nothing different. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Uh-huh. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just <laughs> let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few <laughs> moments with some calming new age music. Open the- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I love that! And rejuvenated. Oh, I feel soothed and rejuvenated. Oh god, it's dark! Into the opening passageway. I don't like the dark! Is there actually another way I can go? For like a different ending? No? Is it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's perfect though. Oh my god. Okay, wait, are these boxes? I can't see anything! Uh, I guess we go in here again! How fun! Mm, I love this! Mm hmm. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It oh, did he? was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he <laughs> felt more free to think for himself, <laughs> to question the nature of his I knew it. I knew you I knew somewhere. I knew. I knew somewhere near that. I knew somewhere near this part of the ending. You would say something. Speaking of Gen Loss, I got the Gen Loss merch on for today. 
founder shirt. That was the founder shirt, right? I don't remember what it's called. I'm bad with names. <laughs> Stanley walked what? straight ahead through the large door that His led light is on. Oh. oh. That's not right. Founder shirt, yeah. I know there's more endings you can do down here, but the one of them I'm genuinely not gonna do. Mine can go What horrible secret did crazy. this Stanley thought. I'm crazy. Did he have the strength? Find out. I've only done this one once, so there should be something different. I remember one of the endings here was really stressful, so I might try now to avoid that. To life, their true nature revealed. Oh, wow. For the number of an employee in the Which door, number was that? That's glitched out. Co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Changed to numbers. One of them eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. 234. Fired. What's 234 mean? That's not our number, is it? No, it's not. Is there something at that computer? This mind control facility. Oh, I'm clicking the button. Horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his Fired. boring job? Fired. That his emotions had been manipulated That's to accept it blindly. What's that mean? Two thirty-four. No. He okay, I gotta remember that. Remember that chat. Two thirty-four. I don't know if it's important or not. In someone else's control, never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was wasn't it, even it? possible? Was Had it? He truly spent ah, his entire flashing life lights. Flashing lights. Ah. Blind to the world. You're gonna make me blind. Stop it with the lights. But here was the proof. The heart of the okay, operation. there's something in Controls here. Labeled with emotions, happy or sad. But or if I'm remembering correctly, working, it doesn't. Eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very. It's place. a lot darker in here than I remember. God. Began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he now, if I do the same thing I did last stream, I wonder if it'll actually change the ending or not. Like, has anything changed, or it's just gonna be the exact same? But I did do the exact same stuff, but it's later, so I don't know. I don't know how this works, guys. There's so much stuff, I'm confused. So I could do the different route and see what happens. I don't remember what this does. Or I could do the same one. Ah, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? It doesn't actually experience things. I mean, I can't have brought up. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Ah. I don't know, I don't really want to go through all this again just to get the same ending, so um 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 Oh Stan <laughs> you didn't just activate the control system. Um after they kept you enslaved all these um, years you didn't sorry. try to take control of the machine My bad. Is that what you want? Control My bad oh, Stanley My bad I really do. Yep, this is the but ending that stressed me out. There's only so much that machine can do. This is the one that stressed you me were out. Supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. My bad, dude. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA There's identification, five. nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. My bad! How, long until this How do I get up here? I can't see. Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. I ah, can't see, you, dude! A little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is this one stresses me out because I can't mind. run. What a shame we have so little you can't go faster. It. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. It does nothing. Yep, that's what right. It does nothing. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. Uh, you have three times remaining. Before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. 
I'll tell you exactly. No backup power. To Where? I Wait, agree. that's different. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sit. This is different. Wait, there's something different. Everyone inside. Three. Learn to trip. I have to say this. Wait, what? Three. The events have been rather there's amazing. a button that says three. When you try to make sense of everything. And what? I was thinking four. Stood away from you. It's quite rich. Yellow? To see it go. Incre Do I have to press the, 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 on the next uh, row, one? Where's one? Even better. Oh, I'm oh, so confused. Goodness. Only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? Ah, oh, the door's closed. I'm God. Put some extra time on the I can't read this. <sighs> These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. I don't know what to press. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed you to do? You have one right attempt now? remaining. What do I, I press? To assume when you saw I'm so confused. Something in this room was capable of turning it off. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen. Wait, wait, these? Every little wait. Thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Something here will save me. What do they say? That's Stanley. That this video game can be beaten, won, stole. Ah! Maybe the white button. I did. I did. I already did that. <laughs> Stanley. You're Is there actually a way? But here's a spoiler. Oh. That's oh. The catalyst to keep the action moving along. Oh no. Away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. I did one through five. That was this the first thing I did. It... It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. No. So you can't. Take a look at the clock. Oh God. That's thirty seconds you have left to struggle. Dude. Thirty yeah. seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. I'm not gonna make it through five. Will you desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go? Oh, I'm not gonna make it to five. Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your ah, the shaking life, from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Oh my God, that is the one that I got last time, but it seemed different. I don't know if he added extra time in the original. I'm wondering if there is an actual way to beat that ending now. Because I remember after I played the original, I looked it up and there was no- and they said there has been no way nobody's found. <laughs> but I remember looking it up after the the very first stream that I did on this, the original, and I couldn't find, um... Or at least people said there was no way to beat it. I don't know about this one though, because they've changed a lot. All of his co-workers are gone. What could it mean? I'm not gonna go back to, to go the ending the now. I got hiccups. Perhaps I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> I got hiccups. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm not gonna try and do that now. But I might go back and see if it's possible to beat it later. Cause that feels different. It feels like the. Wait. Wait, this unlocks an ending too. Oh, that was like the bad one, wasn't it? That was like the one that sends you like, doesn't it like send you to hell? <laughs> I don't remember that. One. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone. Woo! Not with the bucket around. Not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. And entered the dorm. This was not the correct way. To I need to find a room with boxes. Had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to. Where is the place with boxes? I and genuinely was, can't remember. The bucket turned out to be correct. Was no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back. This to is the a lot of boxes. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. 
This seems to have a lot of boxes. Maybe there's more boxes down here. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't. I. I. I got a bad memory. Oh, good Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. What? I knew you'd find this place eventually. What is going on? You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we there's boxes. Very much. It's this the broom closet carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because oh, the that's Adventure what Line. Fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. What do you mean, there's bucket? Yes, I, know, I, I love know the bucket. I gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. No. Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do Broom it. Broom closet. No, I'm kidding. Whose <laughs> baby is that? I don't know. Yeah, fun fact. We set this baby on fire. That actually happened. That's not me doing it. We actually... Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? We actually uh, kind of set that baby on fire earlier. Where is this? I'm. Why did it time you out? <laughs> Why did you build this build me out? I'm so sorry. I don't know what you said, Clyde. I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> Why did you get timed out? I didn't even see what you tried to say. Why did you get timed out? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't do that. That was stream element. Let me actually get a stream elements. I'm gonna. I don't know. Stream elements time them out for a second. Stream elements time Clyde out. Are you back, Clyde? You're back, Clyde! Okay, let me actually go to like chat, but I'm actually probably gonna turn that off. You just. <laughs> Okay, how do I turn off my chatbot? Hold on. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. People have said that in my chat before. Where is it? Hello? Where do I... I am confused, um... Uh, okay, let me go to... Rules Manager, I'm just gonna take away Stream Elements uh, Moderator. Boop! Okay, Stream Elements has... I think that fixed it. Sorry, Clyde! Yeah, I genuinely don't know why that did that. Spam filter? Oh, it might be that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna turn it off. Filters off. Uh. Okay. <laughs> that should be fixed. If it happens again this stream, I will... Def I'm definitely gonna look into this after stream, but... Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes. Hello? It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. No. I want my bucket. You can't take my bucket from me! Okay, where is this collectible? I don't know where more boxes are. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's no. I'm very proud to what kind of sacrifice thing is this? This is the bucket destroyer. No! 
I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the no! Stone of Power. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? No. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? I Try wonder. Me to spell it out no, let me go. Let, no, let me... There was a way out! Family. No, I missed it! No, I couldn't get out there anyway. The That's the scam. No! 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 Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. No! I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join Let me the out. pantheon? Narrator, the narrator, there's a problem, narrator! Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, narrator. you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and narrator. nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What narrator. other object in this game can you narrator. even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I want to go back sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. No. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable. That's so sick. That came for me. What? The bucket destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. <laughs> Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and. <laughs> My prized creation. Did I not just fall down? Oh god, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> marvelous things with you, Telford. Tell <laughs> stories about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, <laughs> new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were. I don't know how far down that fell. Imagine that title, that'd be a crazy video title. The Stanley Parable, of course, is the face reveal. What do you mean, Sigai? Uh, like, you know, it's, you know, port portal. You know, it, 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 I, I don't know. I just said that in the moment. I really don't know what that means. <laughs> I heard that, like, it's for the bucket. You gotta feed it. And it's like, see, got in, in portal. Whoa, crazy. In portal. Crazy. I don't know why I said that, to be honest. I don't know if that makes sense or not. <laughs> Anyone know how really somebody surviving in this place? <laughs> Trying to put the Stanley Parable on top of making me laugh out of Laura. This is great. I did not understand any of that. I, 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 I don't know what I said either. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I do not know. I, I do not know what I said either. I, you know, I, mm. I really should learn how to talk properly before streaming. That really should have been. <laughs> you know, that probably would have been a good thing to do. I probably should have learned how to, yeah. Mm, that, yeah. Yeah. Why am I like this? I don't know what's going on today's stream. This is crazy. I'm. It's not crazy. I'm. Nah, I'm. I'm going crazy actually. I. I'm, I think I'm going a tad bit crazy today. All of his co-workers were gone. I need to take a breath for a second. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't know why no I feel so embarrassed. I just I feel he like I couldn't find a trace. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Oh. That I don't I that, I'm going a bit crazy after that, but I I don't know how far I'm worried. This VOD might not be uploaded if uh <laughs> balloon yeah, there's balloons now. Yeah, that happened last stream. 
That's new, yeah, it's from, uh, that happened last stream. <laughs> I want to how to get in here. The bucket. Mine. The good old bucket. Just stand in the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. But, oh god. I don't know why, I, I actually, like... Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I honestly don't know, like, where to go the for this to the collectible. Lounge, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this bet- No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door. If I go down there again, will it have the same ending? I probably need to go down there without the bucket. No, said the bucket. No. Go the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo. There's is a lot of buckets. Uh, Good, not buckets. Said the bucket. Now ride Wait, the bucket all the way Wait. to the top. There's something. But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death. That they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All of his co workers were gone. Oh, my frames. What What's it trying to load in? My frames are dying. To to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a mem What is up with my frames? The bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be per Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket Okay, let me go back. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Hello? Was this better than the meeting room? No. Never <laughs> mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley I saw that. Room. I need to I I, I need it. No. Said the no. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. How do I get to the it? Oh my god, my guest. frames! Go what is go up with my frames? Guest. Hello? Hello? Oh dear god, what happened? What is it trying to load in? It was not like this two seconds ago. This is gonna be extremely hard to play. Uh, what happened? Wait. Jeez. It's all <laughs> Um. Can I put this to medium, maybe? What happened? I'm so confused. Is it because I'm over here? It was not like this a few minutes ago. And... Parkour. Okay. What happened? Okay, I'm gonna get this and then restart and hope my frames fix themselves. And there it is. The last... Yeah. Stiggly Wiggly, savor this moment, yeah. Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we <laughs> can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done for now. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Oh my god, my frames, my frames, my frames. Wait, can I like, get down from here? Will I survive? Can I survive and get down here? But Stanley <laughs> feared that any path he walked might lead to the okay, separation no, no, of himself no, no, I guess not. Okay, okay, but, okay. So he threw That's himself great. to his death, that they might die in one okay. of their arms. <laughs> I really thought for a second. Frames, please fix yourself. Please, I beg. Yes, okay, that's much better. I don't know what was going on. 
about them since you nabbed every last one i the hate this intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness yes i know you're supposed to be telling a story but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory oh uh, i don't like that I would love oh that's what i was trying to load in it's trying to load in this oh my frame that's what i was trying to load in oh dear god oh oh my god my frame <laughs> That's what I said I loaded. Dear God. Oh my God. Oh dear God. Why have you done this to me? Oh dear God. Narrator. Why have you done this to me? My frames. My frames. No. Huh? <sighs> Here's where it all began. The first collectibles. Yeah. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the <laughs> screen, but how could we know for certain? There's we something over there. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Six! I mean, seven! Wait. Seven? That's not how counting works. I'm here with the second Stan Lorene. Eight! I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, oh. let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable Oh, I don't moments. like that. Oh, I didn't like that! Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? In here. This is freaky. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Let's see, what came next? Oh, yes, we found a piglet in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room. Yeah, we've never been in here. The memory zone, so it must have happened. This is not... Oh, that's freaky. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was by the red and blue doors. I uh -huh. remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. you back doesn't it i spent a lot of time making that video oh but it was God. eight minutes i wouldn't it's have spent on anything oh no yeah the illusion of choice you say all right that's there oh which this way i guess i don't know This looks so scary for some reason. Ah! Oh. Then we came to the last collection. Yeah, it was not like this before, did? Oh, that's freaky. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Oh, my frames are alive this time. It's so much better. Who can truly say how the mind works? 
All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're hmm? all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Where did I go? What? That's crazy. Oh. And oh, that's so weird. No more. Oh, that's so weird. Up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Hello? Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. What? Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying what? these figurines? Let's just go backwards. Go backwards? We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See go backwards? TV, 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 TV. Okay, yes. This spot in the warehouse. Oh, my friends there. again, dude! I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. You want more? This is so creepy. I don't know why the hallways just freak me out. Seeing and the same hallways. Video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Don't play it again. Don't. God. Yes, I love that video. Uh, Still don't remember the pink room. Yeah, this did not happen. No memory of this one. Good room though, a solid room. This just did not happen. Why is there an apple? I don't know. Why didn't like that? You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Next? Hmm? Were we not just... Oh, I don't like the water dripping sound. That's... This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yeah, Your we just did. Number two. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. Uh oh, that's not. That doesn't sound great. This is it. The very first one we found. My friends! In the exhibit where I introduced you to the figurines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before? The exit. This? Exit. Collect them all. You can find them all. Oh, what? The exit? Look, it's the terrible new content that we <gasps> were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say... Oh! Oh, oh yes! The total door! Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Oh, what? Oh boy, I don't like it when the two doors lead to one place. And I don't like it. Else, there was your office. I don't like it. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? Was there? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes. Hello? I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. You were? I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. Oh, and what? Somewhere along the way, I stopped oh, what? decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with, well, I came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions and would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. What? Yes. No. I can be on my no. Again. I can do it. I'll be no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No, 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 no. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? 
I really did the, the wrong hand because yeah, I didn't whatever. Think you were telling your story so very much. Okay, here we go. Hello. This is the story of a, a man named Stanley. Stanley. Are we gonna have to go through like the original run again? Whoa. Okay. Is it just gonna be all like no? These are still gone. here. What could it mean? I thought it was going to be all like the very first time play, but it's not. Simply missed a memory. Perhaps. Ooh. That's different. Right? Doesn't it normally go right? There's some way to get in there, surely. Bucket? Bucket. A good bucket. A strong good bucket. bucket. A humble bucket. A committed bucket. Good a bucket. bucket of culture and distinction. Good bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not a direct way to the meeting room. Wait, what do we do now? The bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket Let me have a drink! Was this I than need a drink! Room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. I think you need a drink, How God. insightful the bucket... No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Where do I Stanley want to go now? To go back to the meeting room. Is it just me or do his voice lines sound, like, slightly different? Just, like... I don't know. Could be overthinking it. Detour through the maintenance section and walk straight ahead to I'm gonna go back down here. Floor. I wanna see if that's the same thing as last time. Please don't be the adventure. No! I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this. I'm gonna have to give up the bucket this time. Need a different ending. No! See, what happens if I come so down here without the bucket? I meant to test that. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's my wife. you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket my wife! isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. The child. Classic characters from the first game. There's a like child. The line and the broom closet. Because that's what fans And why is there see. leaves they on the couch? More of their favorite jokes. Not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one what who is that? the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story? In Where is that? The I haven't line? seen that yet. We I don't make think. the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes. Oh, my yes, friend, dude. What the fans want. Let's do it. Wee! Look Wee! At that line. Who knows where it'll go? My friend. Oh, and it played some silly music as well. <laughs> now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to Okay, yeah, that... <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly For like the this. content! But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Can I actually go down one Don't of you these? get it, Stanley. We need to get rid no, of... No, they're fully blocked off. That's why I'm very Dang proud it. to introduce a brand new character. This... Is the bucket destroyer? Boo! We don't like the bucket I think destroyer. It was a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well fleshed out character. Oh wait, there's literally so a button here. Can I press this button? It really feels as though it's been Maybe that's a light. I can't tell. Along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the bucket destroyer? Can I does? press the button? Surely you don't need no, to that's just a light. I think that's just a light. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Oh wait, there's a button here. I can't press it. No, okay, I got it. listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. Goodbye, I bucket. Don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket? Destroying buckets wait, what? is all it knows. That is its singular How personality do I... trait. Sure, I can hear Wait, the bucket doesn't want to go? What? I'm trying to give it. To join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters. 
What? If you were to really explore the bucket, I'm trying to get you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like I'm trying. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what's hello destroyer merchandise. The fans are going for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer. I'm trying, narrator. Now you'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back. I'm trying. Like the adventure line or the bucket destroyer. Good. Until you crush that damn bucket. I am trying. The fans are waiting. Do it. The fans stand. It's not. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and. Wow. I hear the map. Bucket destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you. Tell such spellbinding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Well, it kind of blew me up, so I, I don't know about magnificent. It, it, it kind of killed Stanley. I don't, I don't know what to... Okay. Well. Let's see what else I can find. Gone. Because there's definitely it's more. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Wait. Perhaps I know something up here. Mr. There's an Easter egg over here. Can I get no to it? No how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. At first, Stanley <laughs> assumed he'd broken the map. Until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? My dad started the machine again! Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable oh as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain <laughs> had not ceased to function. Which is why he is in this Gun, stop! And lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. Will become quite unbearable. Oh. Oh, is it done? Yep. Clap. Woo! Great job, narrator. You did a great job. I feel like a proud parent. Good job, narrator. Okay, I'm restarting. <laughs> That's right. I don't remember ever seeing anything blue. I didn't even hear the narrator go the street. Huh? Oh no. Oh, oh, I don't. Why is the door white? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Huh? He simply missed a memo. Oh, that. I didn't like that.
Altering your reality? Oh, no. Oh, was there something here before? Were these knocked down before? I don't remember. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, Gen -la! The yeah! Door Haven't been over here in a while. Let me see. Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh yeah, we found the collectibles, so it's changed in here. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> what is ha? <laughs> Target demographic. Teenagers. Why they put teenagers in like a bold font like teenagers? Ugh. Hate those guys. <sighs> what do people want? Things. Money. Wait, happiness. <laughs> Feeling. More money. More money. Things. But with money to buy more things? Graphs. Graphs about things and money. We have our <laughs> product. Product safe by Rip Alter Ego. <laughs> Colored in segment. Stripes. Required for secondary research. Okay. Broom closet! I'm gonna go back in there. Nope, close it. Nope, nope, close. Cl nope. Cl there you go. Hmm. Upstairs. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, yeah! Oh, wait, can I go up? Wait. Up. This place gives me awful memories. I don't know if Thomas remembers. I have such awful memories. This elevator just brings me back to... <laughs> I hear the screaming from upstairs! going anywhere we're, we're still here we're just still here Does it just not take you anywhere? Are you joking? Okay, I thought it took me somewhere, I don't remember. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah blah blah. Oh, it already does. Oh, some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Oh, wow. Who would have guessed? Down here, nothing. All right. The frames. Wee. Hey, hold on, chat, just a second. Yep. Hold on. There we go. Ah, had the wrong page open. 
couldn't see chat because on OBS and it's hard for me to see on OBS. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mm. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Ah! The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Uh, oh, yeah, oh. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, no idea. concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. <laughs> Wee! Wee! Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. Death trap had been of no generation time. lost reference. <laughs> Stanley can't see the bigger picture. No way. Real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Gen lost this world. Is no great loss. Like plucking the eyeball. Generation lost. Oh, I. So he resigned and willingly <laughs> accepted this violent end to his grief and. Gen lost reference. Farewell, Stanley. No way. Death for entertainment. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led oh, geez, the lighting. into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, uh. killing him instantly. Yikes. Hate to be that guy. Would hate to be that guy. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Yowch. What exactly did the narrator think he was going Ugh. to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Sound plausible to you? Now look closely, Stanley. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design, textbook mistake. It's the kind of thing you'd pick up on intuitively if you had even the most fundamental understanding of good and bad being that end. But of course, you being you, you'll probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. This game is crazy, I know. Spoilers for Gen Lost Vod Watchers. Oh no, spoilers, 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 guys, spoilers. Countdown death. Countdown. Oh, wait. That. Oh, okay. I'm gonna wait a second to go down there. Whoa. This reminds me of something. This re this reminds me a little bit of a little show called Generation Lost. I am going to find a reason to make a Generation Lost reference as much as I can. But this reminds me a bit of episode episode three, the choice generation lost. No way. Okay. Freedom ending. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. <laughs> oh, look at these two! How they wish to destroy one another! How they wish to control one another! How they both wish to be free! Oh. Can you see 
Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Oh. But listen to me. You can still save this. Oh. Time. You can stop the program before they both fail. Oh. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Huh? As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Okay. I can quit and join the- Oh my god, you sent the biggest paragraph. Okay, wait. Gen Law Spoilers, by the way, chat. I'm gonna say this. Gen Law Spoilers, Gen Law Spoilers, Gen Law Spoilers. Okay. Uh, just mute for a minute. <laughs> or, yeah, definitely, whatever. Uh, okay, so we know the social experiments was recorded on a, on a tape, which means it was pre-recorded and we killed Gen Law Spoilers at the end because it's a loop. Technically... Technically, we didn't kill Dennis Ram, but they already died because it was a loop, and we don't know when the first loop, when the first loop was. So even though they just revived Dennis Ram, but we didn't kill Dennis Ram the first time, so that kind of counts. I'm going. <laughs> oh my! It doesn't make sense. Okay. Now I have a choice. I can press resume, and this feels familiar. I can resume and let him die, and the loop will continue, or I can quit the game, and I'll join back, and I feel like something different will happen. The loop will not be the same. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit the desktop and reopen it. Oh boy! Yo oh boy! Alright. It's opening. Oh boy! Here we go! Here we go! Go slow, slow. Did this show at the beginning before? I don't remember. Please enter in the current time. Oh yeah! At the beginning they said enter your favorite time, not even the correct time. What's my favorite time? Like. 1 a.m.? I don't know. I watch TV with my family super late or early or whatever. Sure. 1 a.m. Oh, 1 a.m. Your favorite time of the day. Who is this? Who? I just realized. This is not the narrator. Who is this? You simply not resist giving me the time again. After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 1 a.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is 1am? Inac- You mean accurate to my favorite or accurate to- It's very inaccurate to the- To the current time. It is 5.16pm for me. You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you in how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders. But we've gone through all the sliders I have. Perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip a couple new ones up. Whoa. That's freaky. Okay. Let me begin the game. I want to see if the loop continues. This is the story of a man named Okay, the narrator's Stanley. still here. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he I'm going to skip this. I thought maybe Okay, I don't know. I kind of felt like the woman was going to be narrating. Or the oh, other voice. This was gone. What could it mean? I felt like that was going to happen, but I guess not. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, I need to go down there without the bucket. That's what I'm going to do this time. Huh. I wonder if we're going to run into that woman again. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Okay. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. That beginning part with the clock, though, 
got me thinking. That is not the narrator. Is that the woman? Stanley took the first open Is that the woman's voice at the beginning? I don't know. Like, uh, she, she, she would be talking, right? The maintenance section, walk straight ahead She's like the another narrator. And got back on track. I don't know. I'm... I don't know. I'm thinking so hard about, like, but that Stanley beginning bit. To back to That's so interesting to me. To Whoa, it's different. Even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh... uh from here, it's, um, left. Okay, that's left. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. No, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? You it's know how a map... Oh, dear, would you hold on to a minute, please? <laughs> yeah, the map. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely oh. this way. No, 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 no. Wait, this we can see more. Okay. You're not supposed to be here yet. What do I need to see? Spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay. Spoiler! Okay, okay, okay. We just, it's back to, um, oh. Employee. Oh, geez. Sorry, chat. The whole story Hold on. Be unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Sorry, chat. The phone was ringing. I have a, the house phone in here, so like. <laughs> it wasn't a call from me, but it was. The balloons are gone! Hold on! The balloons are gone! All of Wait! The, workers were gone. What could it mean? the balloons are gone! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply. The bucket's gone! Room. Wait, no, it's fully start over! Wait! It's just like the first one now. Wait. Oh, it's actually fully changed this time. When Stanley, wait, wait. Whoa. No. I remember this. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game. Yeah, you definitely it. did. Everything should be. Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back? In no. The, the monitors. Did you move the story somewhere or? Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Yeah! It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Why are these lights always Karen, out? It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Why did I Minecraft doors out? Oh, it's a maze, Ray. Okay. Oh, that was kind of quick. Hold on. Never mind. I uh, <laughs> that wasn't um. I'll say it. This is the yeah. You you sent me back. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just? Do we need to restart the game? No. Again? I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Ah! <laughs> I made it all the way back to the main thought. Okay, what happened to the balloon? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. In the bucket! Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. He took my bucket! <laughs> okay, yep, it's worse. Yep. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we really? go the other direction and see if we missed anything? Well, let me see. No more bucket. I know. Bucket, come back. Those aren't real doors. Next door. All right. Do, do, do. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. 
No, wait, never mind, not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. I, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were oh. supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Woo! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Thank you, NetWriter. Oh, no. no now, put a door somewhere. At all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place Yeah, me is. too. I, I don't care what might happen this time. I yeah, why did you throw me in a cabin? Are you not going to put another door? Who did... Why is the ring camera going off? Hello? Oh, we're back here. Oh. I'll be right back. To, I gotta go check something. Uh, hold on. Sorry. I will be right... I, I knew it. I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. I'm back. I got my jacket on. It's cold. <laughs> I had to um let my mom in. My mom was locked in. I was like, who could be ringing the doorbell at this time? I was like, oh my god, it's my mom. <laughs> I had to open the door for it. <laughs> cold outside. God. All right. Okay. All right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. For the second time. Just follow the line. How simple is that? What if I don't? What, what? What if I don't? Oh, wait, we can go in here now. Wait. I am going to follow it. I can go in here. Where is, where is the silly, goofy music? Is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply you see, she went all the way. Let's go. Forward, are we I have to check on mine. I need to check mine. That that it should be. I think they're shipping right now. Being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself. Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now we can both agree that the nature Which of way existence is in hmm. fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now if my experience of your existence rests inside oh, of your okay. subjective experience of this <laughs> office, is this office in fact the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Question mark. Lots of question marks. Bum, bum, bum. Whoa! 
got what? Music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this one? This fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. None. Okay. Wait, well, we're back at the Oh, oh. No, 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 line. You do know we're looking we can go in here. Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Actually, never mind. Never mind. Actually. Oh, this is. Oh, we have to go that way. No! I forgot I can shoot. What if I go back to the fern? It is nothing. Okay. Do 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 do. What if I go down here? What if? What, what if I just don't listen? Oh. Still missing the doors. Did we make a mistake following the lion? Perhaps we could have found the story on our own. Yeah, maybe, but you know, I. There's not many other ways to go. Cause you locked all the doors. Do I have to go this way? This door is normally open. Oh no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you well, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. No! Oh. Oh, narrator? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Where's the balloon? people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, Yeah. Mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? All right. Yes, this is exciting. Uh -huh. Just me and Stanley forging a in new In the path, back room, let's story. go. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not uh. you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the lion from having any role in our awesome new story. No lions or monitor rooms. <laughs> don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Don't acknowledge it, all right. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Is it though? Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh, it doesn't give me another option. Okay. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game, what, eight, eight times? really how all this goes it's all determined so Black now, according face. to the schedule i restart again then what am i just supposed to forget well what if i don't want to forget my mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this 
thing wall well he consulted me why don't i get to decide why don't i get a say in all of this is it really i was like they were both leaving here i don't want it to be i i don't want the game to keep restarting i find a bookstore you're going to leave the narrator's I gone don't want to be like this i won't restart the game i won't do it i won't do it i won't do it and the time it uh, stopped does that mean um, did we do it did we break the cycle the um, black space engine <laughs> that made this schedule how would we even um, know will someone come for us will something happen i should make up a story here no, I so, to them. okay are we on the sixth or fifth i guess now we just wait you know I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the Fine journey. Fine, computing schedule. Yeah, saying that saying. life is about the journey and not the Forget. destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Okay. Eventually. I'll but try and remember this. If... Huh? Oh, Mori? All right, real quick, I do gotta go check something else. I will be right back. I am so sorry for leaving again. I just heard something from the other room. I will be right back. Bye, babe. I keep leaving a lot lately on stream. <laughs> oh, the All balloons are back! Workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's fuck it! <sighs> the embrace of an old friend. A <laughs> real companionship <laughs> that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. And entered the dorm lab. Oh, the baby is still there. My bad. I forgot. <laughs> Thank you. Still I forgot I put that there. Stan needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley, do you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. No! You can feel that? No! Ocean? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear My as bucket. this broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. No, it's mine. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. No, That's it's mine. The broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed no. to be with the other cleaning supplies. No! Good news, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand no. over the bucket. This bucket is different. Given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, no. that you have to be strong. I'd be strong. This is your bucket. It's this my bucket. Your companion and lifelong friend. It's my best friend. You can't hand it over. No, I can't. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk? Oh, how dare you? Resort to this stream of petty insults simply in oh. order to get you to hand over the bucket. How dare you, broom closet? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not <gasps> deep and lasting friends. What? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient. <gasps> that your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an <gasps> even partially oh enticing God. manner. Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its How own How dare you! Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket I'm pretty sure I just sprained my ankle doing Don't that. Come on! Each of them point <laughs> by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. <laughs> what is this? Broom closet! This is 
is my this bucket is my best okay. Oh. I got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here it is. Pump it! Yes! Now it's settled. No more debate, no more discussion. Take our hype room. Yeah! We don't need you, broom closet! ...diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Is that it? <laughs> is that it? All right, I've got a second sticker oh. back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. Yeah! I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. So true, though. Yes. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Oh, it's a bucket. That's so true. There's Thank you. A wide variety of applications for this sticker. There, are, there really is. So true. I think everyone needs a bucket sticker. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. Ugh. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness exactly. on the sleigh. Exactly, without the bucket sticker. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room Ugh. of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever seen. For real, seen. it's see so immature. And we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Ha! <sighs> This broom, this stupid broom closet. Ugh! How dare it insult me and my Come bucket! Come staircase. Stanley and the bucket walk upstairs to the boss's office. Oh. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Okay. There's absolutely nothing in here. Okay. Let me out. I honestly don't think there's anything else in here. All right. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer I sure mind. did. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Sure. The bucket guiding him. Oh my yes. god. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Oh my god, it is. You're right. It's the bucket. elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Ah, oh, the bucket. Soothing him, comforting Thank him. Thank you, bucket. Reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, Thank, Thank you, bucket. would be all right. Thank you. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Thank you. Everything will be fine. Aw, oh, thank you. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that mm. read mind control facility. Although nope. the passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. The bucket? Ah. Uh, with the power of friendship, me and the bucket will survive. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get no. back on track. We have the power of friendship on our side. Stanley My little pony taught me you can do anything with the power of friendship. for each of them. This bucket's my best friend in the world. Oh my god. We got this. We're gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Bucket? We're gonna be fine. Bucket, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, Bucket. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the Bucket inched closer to their... It's home, gonna be okay! Stanley we got this Bucket, it's okay! Meaningless, the Bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out... I got the Bucket! To be sure... We're gonna be okay! ...and the soul at ease to embrace the Bucket. 
But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? It's okay, Bucket. This is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of Bucket, we're gonna be okay. Wasting so much time carrying a bucket every Close day. your eyes. Farewell, Stanley. You don't have eyes. <laughs> you're gonna be okay, Bucket. Farewell, Stanley. Cried it's me again. As Stanley and the Bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently to death. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Ah, that bucket! Oh, I love that bucket. Ah, oh, I love that bucket. Oh my god. I can't believe he's gone. Can you see oh. how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this? Yeah, who would do claim it for his own? Who would do something like that? The hubris that blinded him. Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Who would ever do that? Uh, that's no crazy. Man can own a bucket. And certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Oh, so true. So, so true. I'm gonna take this bucket, no more me. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't give him another I thought opportunity it was, to run off with another. I thought it was gonna be different this time. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. No! The takes place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Ah! So uh I think Stanley's dead. Again. Anyways, I'm gonna restart. Simply because I wanna find out what the heck was going on with that that voice at the beginning. Okay. Luckily this game doesn't take long to like load up. So I can just restart it quickly. Uh, well, that just, yeah, that, that just happened. Wait, I already did this. I don't think there is a number nine. Oh. Until you stop adjusting the slides. <laughs> Which of the two made up words below is most appealing to you? Scrump, crump, scrump, tush. I like that one. Okay. Do you know what time it is right now? Yes. I have a clock. Yes. What time is it? Oh, this is scary! I don't like that. Yeah, a lot. What the? What? Freaky! I don't like that! No! No!
Shall I just restart to see what he says next? Again. Because I don't know how many more streams I'm going to do on this, and I don't know how long that goes. I'm going to do it at least once, and then we'll get back to the actual game. That's so creepy. If the, I, I might, if I have to cut the stream short, which I don't know if I have to or not, I plan to go a little over two hours, but if I have to cut it kind of short, I'll, um, I'll look it up and see if, like, there's a YouTube video on it or something and we'll just watch that. Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. That's what I've been saying! Sure, I've adjusted all the game settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now the job's over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. I still don't really know you, and you don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't ha you won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games are meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? Maybe it's the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. Oh god! Epilogue! That wasn't there before, was it? Did I just miss it the entire time, or was that not there before? Do you guys know, chat? I didn't pay that much attention. Oh, there's so much in this game. Who is that? Imagine it's Stanley. That would be crazy. It's Stanley, like, somehow talking to, like, the computer or something. I don't know. I don't think it was there before. I don't think so either, but I, I often overlook things, so. <laughs> Epilogue. Okay. Ugh. Epilogue. Thank you for the bold text. Many, many years later. Oh, this place! Wait! We were here last stream! Is there actually something here? Okay, this- this empty space was here before, but there's nothing here. Oh. What? Oh. How did you get a chair out here? Oh, the sky is beautiful, what? Music seems familiar? Kinda does. Wow, the sky is beautiful here. That is a beautiful screenshot right there. Oh! Oh? What on earth? The chairs? Was the office just destroyed? Oh, this is a pretty- this is a- oh, that's pretty! Oh my god. Oh my god, these are so pretty. This game looks fantastic. Whoever did these scenes, bravo, it's beautiful. Oh, it's the place! It's the- that's the mem- that's- this is the memory place that we were in earlier. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. To the inside. 
What is this? I don't know. Oh. Oh, why is it silent? Oh, jeez! Oh my god! Hold on, chat. Good! Why did the phone ring right then? Oh my god, that scared me up to death. <laughs> that was the worst timing! Oh my god! That's gonna give me a heart attack. You can't be doing that. What is this? Review. Like. Okay. Like so many, I am joined by time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with the sequel. Where the first game teamed with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fan base. Rather than, ex <coughs> rather than expand on what made the first game so enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory no nobody asked for. An infinity, an infin infinitely deep hole? Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1? Like the adventure line. Instead, we get uninspired side quests collecting figurines. Even this version feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. Stanley Parable developers. No more spin-offs. No more sequels. Name buttons. I'm not gonna read all this. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> it's so quiet. I hate it. Where does this go? Huh? Oh, it's the things. Yeah, these are all the ones we got. Oh, we can get these. Whoa. Whoa? I don't like this. I don't like this very much. Where do I go? Computer. Huh? Huh? You! Hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together, we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead. Try combining some random words together to make a title for our game. <laughs> um. I don't know. Stanley Parable 3, Forgotten Zone. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one. And then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll be the same content recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. Don't do it. I understand. Sometimes I'm not ready to move on. That's fine. If you ever change your mind and want to start inventing new sequels, you can talk to me. Oh, and it's still there. 
Hmm. Why is the narrator not there? Why does the narrator have nothing to do with that? He talks about him, like, in past tense. What happened to the narrator? Like, does the narrator not exist in the epilogue? Hmm. Hold on. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to decide which one I want to go to. I kind of want to go back to the epilogue. It's just interesting. Will I have to redo the whole thing over again? Probably. I'm gonna see. And if so, I'll just go back to the normal game. Yeah, no, I think I have to start it all over. Okay, I should have clicked yes. Yeah, I should have clicked yes. Okay. I'm gonna begin the game and see if anything's different. All right, back here. Is the narrator here? All of his coworkers he is. Were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps. The bucket has the stickers on it. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better coworker. In time, perhaps he would become both of those things. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I might have to go through that epilogue again, just Stanley just because I do want to see what happens. And Stanley like, needed the bucket's water if anything ever does change. Perhaps it's Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I Aww. don't, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. No! No stickers! This is the worst day. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the bottle's office. No. Nah. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for him in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. Oh Not my god. Someone else's bucket. This is all terribly wrong. Surely it's a fake. No good would come it's a this. fake. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounded oh my god. bucket. And indeed, now he noticed the rooms were repeated, which was, of course, very odd. Oh my god, it's the bucket. Oh my god. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. No, it was all a bucket. I must find it. Bar Where's my bucket? Now, he heard it. One, two, B, four. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Where? The bucket? It truly is. He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them These aren't my bucket. None of them were his special bucket. Where's my bucket? Stanley, Stanley find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And bucket! Then suddenly, he fell dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside <gasps> him all along. It was incredibly painful. <laughs> Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, went dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. 
But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town. That might be my bucket. To himself and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. I can't believe it. Of course he'd gone mad. Of course I had. Ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion. I can't believe this. I didn't have a bucket. A video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket. If only. Perhaps God. he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. No. How cruel I can't believe be in that reality. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. Of course. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. <laughs> and she backflipped all the way to work. <laughs> I can't, honestly. Good for Ariella. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Ah, oh, that's a Still wonderful ending. To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Incredible. Now let me have a bucket. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket. It's, it's, yeah, it's so sad. A very lucky fellow. Yes. Very lucky indeed. Stanley Why did you feel like that, narrator? This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had Why did you feel like that? To him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Perhaps, yes, perhaps it truly was. Maybe. How insightful the bucket turned out. Ah, oh, thank you, bucket. This is great. Thank you for this bucket. Thank you. Truly. Being here with the Can I have a drink, a please? That's, that's all I want from this Stanley game. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. First, walking through the door on the right, mm -hmm. then walking to the lounge, uh, then yeah. arriving at the lounge. Such great the memories. Journey the bucket had inspired. So true. I just wanted a drink. Do I have a dollar twenty-five? I probably don't have a dollar twenty-five. Maybe Perhaps I'll. this was where the bucket felt most truly at home. Maybe here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. Maybe. I never thought about it that way. Thank you, narrator. Stanley decided to just give the bucket absolutely as much time as it needed to be in the lounge. Can I get a uh, coffee? Clearly, the bucket and the employee lounge shared a special connection. Hi, Mary. Yeah, this clock is not accurate. <laughs> okay, I think I think I think that I think the narrator's done. Okay. But finally, the bucket was done being in the lounge, and they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. No. 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 Said no. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. There's nothing over there, there anymore, so I don't think it's worth that. Cargo lift. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. What do you but mean? Stanley chose not to think you don't know that. This obvious fact. He was firmly convinced <clears throat> that the bucket had spoken to him. And he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. No, stop. No! Look there oh, I forgot about that. There's a sign right there. It says, no buckets no! past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket? Well, I forgot, okay? The problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket. <laughs> A lot about your behavior up to this I have point. a sticker for if that, dude. Oh, well, my goodness. I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah do it again. We did it yesterday, but whatever. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and I know it's a bucket, bucket. because it's buckets have stickers on them. Thank you. My bucket has a sticker on it, and that's all that matters.
Thank you, narrator. Now then, I'm going to run you through some Thank test you for killing my friend, and you'll dude. tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. It doesn't matter because I have my bucket. This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, whatever, fine. Okay, let's begin. Dude, this game shows killing my frames. Like you need to. Is this a bucket? No, no, it's not. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual. Bucket. I've never, I have never been here before. What do you mean? Um, I totally don't know all the answers because I did this yesterday. Item two. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item 3. Is this a bucket? Yes. Correct. This is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? Hmm. This, this one's really hard. Am I going? No, actually. Correct. This is a tractor and not a bucket. To be honest, I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but mm -hmm. I'm starting to get concerned that even that looks this like a bucket. That's why I was. Uh, Thank you for not. I knew it was a trick bucket. question. It looks so much like a bucket. Mm. Is this a bucket? Uh, this is a hard one. I, 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 that looks like a bucket to me. Correct. This is a bucket. Such a beautiful bucket, honestly. My frames are dying. <laughs> Item six. Is this a bucket? Hmm. Oh, this is a this is a hard one. Uh I'm gonna say no. No, I'm gonna say yes. Change my mind. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Haha. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Did I win? Wait. Item wait, hold on. Did I, I win? Do I get money? Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Do I get paid? Yeah, does poor Stanley ever get paid? Okay, you and I both know I got one wrong anything here, and I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, and therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless in your twisted mind have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? You know what? I'm too confused to even see. Yeah, me that. too. I'm leaving, dude. Why did every, everything look so scary when it all turns red? God, I'm leaving. What do you mean? Everything is a bucket. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I don't know why I started over. I just wanted to start over for some reason. What does it mean? Stanley decided to okay. go to the meeting room. One perhaps more run, perhaps. And then back to the epilogue because. I do want to see what, like, there's something else in there. Stanley came to Surely it's not just gonna, door, it, it might. He entered the door on his left. I should have brought the bucket, damn it. But, the epilogue seems, it seems like there's more there than just changing the number each time. I feel like Yet there is there more. there's not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided, Stanley stepped into the broom closet. Oh, I don't have my bucket, so it doesn't matter. This is awful. And got back on track. Coming to a staircase. Okay, wait, I've already done this. Exact okay, you know what? I'm gonna click on the menu to see that vlog now. Because I, I know exactly what ending this is gonna have. We're gonna do this real quick. I didn't think about it when I answered no on here before. Uh, do do. Okay. Stop. Do do do. Okay.
Hurry up. Can I skip past this, perhaps? Is there just no way I can, you know, kind of skip past this stuff, you know, to get there a little bit sooner? Let me talk to the guy. Let me, let me, let me talk to, the, let me, or the person. I don't know if it's a guy or girl or, or whatever. I don't know if it's a guy or girl or a person. I don't know. Is it even a person? I don't know. Who, like, is the narrator a person? I don't know. What? Like, it's just text. I don't know who it is or what it is. It could be an alien typing from Mars for all I know. Who knows? so pretty here. I'm still not over that. It's so pretty. Like, whoever did these did a fantastic job. Here we go again. This creepy place. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I walk, like, the other way. I wonder if you get something off. Okay, back here. Let's see... If that thing wants to talk. Is it a fan? I don't know. The music is so freaky! This is genuinely like the scariest scene in the entire game. Just the silence down the hallways freaks me out so much. I have to turn down my volume a bit. Just because the um sound of the woods. Jim. 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 It should say Joel, actually. Jo it should say Joel, actually. I think that that's a better. That's a better one. Yo, yo, yo. Wee. Okay, we're back here, dude. Hi. Hi, creepy text on the screen. Oh, hello. You're back. It's good to see you again. Do you consider my idea of inventing a new silly, silly Sentai Lewis? Oh my god, you got me with the word silly. <laughs> for sequels, like Family Terrible 3 Nonsense Chemicals. Would you like to start doing that now? Let's do it. Good, since agreed. A new it's a new sequel every time you start the game. You know what? Since you've put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing the narrator never found a way to give you both an achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. He's been bothering me. Or it's been bothering- I thought he said he said it. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. Alright, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. See? I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're gonna keep this train rolling. The family parable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself. Forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. It is six. 17. Alright. 
Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Thank you. Please enjoy the family parable. <laughs> Yo! Alright. Let's see if the narrator notices. All of his no, he doesn't. This guy's crazy. Stanley he doesn't notice. From meeting you. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, how did I? I'm trying to think. How did we get the broken achievement last time? There was like a machine that. Oh god, my eye itches for some reason. I think it's because it's really hot in here. <laughs> my glasses. Okay. I don't remember where that it was. It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. New closet. That's where it was. Studio and then proceed with bonding. The expo hall. Okay. It was down here. Will he like recognize that someone else fixed it? That's what I want to know. Do they know of each other? I'm genuinely interested in if the narrator and this random voice know each other. Like, do they know you they see, like? He knows the narrator. Like, the random the voice. I'm using he him on that because I don't know. I feel like it's ultra deluxe version has turned out to be the original Stanley Parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to I'm gonna let this finish talking so and I'm gonna say something. Ultra deluxe nonsense, I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Hold on a second, dude. Okay. I was gonna say, I feel like for some reason they're trying to, like, I think the boy, like, the, the text. Not the narrator, the text. Because I know there is another. I'm gonna get this achievement in, uh, probably in stream. Yes, you see, isn't this but far I want to say, measly re -release with a few I feel like additions? think of all the new territory we'll cover with a They're trying to imply set, the text knows built from the ground it's a game. Why there are so many the text knows it could go in so we, many the player, directions. are not Stanley. This is what fans have truly been asking so, for. So. And the narrator thinks it's just Stanley, now, clear, I and the text knows exactly the narrator, but the narrator has be. not said but anything about this mysterious text. I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting I don't know. Concepts, I'm trying to think of like a way to theorize it completely. I'm just I'm struggling because I didn't expect there to be so much deep like Game lore. development is much more of a fuzzy magic than uh, scientific or logical really. Here we are. Go on. But yeah, I'm gonna use like he and pronouns on the on the text because I don't know. I f for some reason I have a feeling that like it has something to do with like being one of the coworkers or like even Stanley. I don't know. At first I was thinking like what if it's like supposed to be Stanley, like you know aware. But I don't think that's the case anymore. Okay, so I don't honest, know. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a this bit of decoration, where I to go. <laughs> like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Sunday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Which would you go with? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, <laughs> it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy Twelfth Birthday, step niece, it oh, is. Oh yeah, okay. Here's your achievement. All right. If it works, will he like notice? Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, it all comes to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. As I got you it. See, <laughs> the machine is not working yet. So test well, achievement, please ignore. Test achievement description, please ignore. You got the achievement. Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are you being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. Yes, as you can see, he knows. He knows something. Wait. 
it um it truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Mm, just breathe. Who is it? Okay. That's way okay, he knows someone. Ah, oh, this is cool. I love this game. I know I said I was gonna try not doing those. Else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? We've seen all of it. I know I said that, um... I was gonna try not to do another stream on it, because I felt... Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier sure. than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra because <laughs> I, I thought two streams would be enough, because right, if you guys are yeah, tired of it, I won't do another. Now? It won't be the next stream. The next stream, hopefully tomorrow, but I'll do it. Tomorrow's stream is going to be Night in the Woods for the first time. So Stanley. Okay, I'm going to restart the game because this is a long bit and I'm going to end stream in just a second. But if there's anything obvious, then... Okay. I'm going to put some in because I got end stream. <laughs> this is... Night in the Woods, yeah! I've never played Night in the Woods, so I'm really excited for it. Uh, or I've never played it, and I've purposely not watched a playthrough of it, which has been very hard, because a lot of people that I watch have been played it. Oh my god, you're still alive? Yeah! <laughs> I'm about that. Uh, I'm about to end. But, if- if you guys aren't- what well, you're ending stream, I am. I'm just saying- I'm just gonna say a few things before I end stream, but then I'm gonna end. I'm probably gonna end in like five minutes or something. But- uh, I, I was gonna try and say, like, I'm not gonna do, like, another stream uh, on Family Parable, because I figured I would get through a majority of it now. And I'm probably gonna look into it and see how much more content there actually is in this game. I'm never looking for a microphone to do ever again. But, if chat isn't tired of it, I might do, like, a poll on Twitter or something, but if you guys aren't tired of it, I might do another stream on it. Probably shorter, but... I love this game. <laughs> I would love to do another stream on it. Uh... But, not, not now. <laughs> not soon. I can't finish it now. I gotta go. But, uh, I have a lot of games that I want to play, so there's gonna be a few, uh, the next few streams are gonna be Night in the Woods, because I'm not gonna finish that one stream. It's long. <laughs> Night in the Woods, and I'm also gonna be playing To the Moon at some point, which I've heard really good things about. To the Moon, uh, after I finish Night in the Woods, most likely. Those are the only plans I have. Of course, I'll, I'll, this car is getting on my nerves, hope. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of rambling. Uh, like I always do, I will update, like, on Twitter and stuff. That's where, uh, if anyone doesn't follow me on Twitter, that's where I always do, like, I always say when I'm going live and, um, what I want to stream. But, Yeah. That was really fun. I really did enjoy that stream, and I really hope I can stream this again. But I will see you guys, hopefully, tomorrow for Night in the Woods. I, again, I will let you know on Twitter. Uh, it will be uh, tomorrow, the next day, for sure. Uh, thank you to everyone who joined and stayed for the stream. Like, everyone who was in chat, thank you so much. It, it genuinely means a lot. Uh, and, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Actually, wait, is there anyone I want to raid? I haven't raided anyone in a while, so I want to check. I haven't raided anyone in a bit. Why is my Twitch not opening? Ah! It's not letting me see who's live. Uh oh. I closed the wrong tab. Help! Okay. This is why I don't raid people. Um, who's live? Do do do. There is a really cool art streamer that I really like watching uh, their streams, and so I'm gonna rent them. I'm gonna rent to Sina. To Sina. Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button. I'm such a professional streamer. I'm gonna raid, and Sina is doing a subathon right now. I don't know if Sina's on. Ah! They're doing a mod takeover, but I'm still gonna raid into Sina. Uh. Thank you so much, everyone. Join, go join the raid. Yay! I haven't been able to watch much of Sina's subathon, sadly, so I'm gonna raid into Sina. And why did it unraid? I I don't like this. I hate this. <laughs> I can't thank you 
shout out to everyone who joined stream. Uh, this is why I don't raid people. I, I, I always mess it up somehow. Uh, join the raid. Yeah, I will see you guys next time. Yep.